Good morning, it's JA Outdoors, and this morning I'd just like to share with you a new toy I have. And in fact, um, this is more or less going to be a review or how to video on how to make your own bushcraft knife because this one is basically from the dollar store. Let me explain. So I took on a project to build a basic, a bushcraft knife, you want to call it, uh, cheaply, and I sourced a Wilson Professional stainless blade from our local thrift shop. Cut the original edge off and cut the tip off. Those two pieces would be maybe perhaps good for an emergency kit. That's a very sharp edge, maybe a ferro rod striker, and maybe this could be manufactured into a neck knife. With those parts removed, I was left with this original, possibly a bread cutting knife, I think originally, perhaps a meat cutting knife. Anyways, it's stainless steel Onyx Wilson Wilshire Professional. And reground the edge in a very kind of bushcraft style. It's a little rough. It hasn't been polished beyond that. Also reprofiled the handle to make it a little more ergonomic, a little more comfortable in the hand. And I feel like there's good weight to it and very thick spine. I even filed off the back edge to give it a nice 90 degree, perhaps fire steel striker area and that didn't take too long just use the uh, grinder and the belt sander and for somebody just getting into bushcraft that wishes to get into something quite cheap um, this is certainly an option for you because the two and three hundred dollar park rivers and buck evens and even the condors are kind of quite expensive for some people just trying to get a start in bushcraft. Let's show you how I made the sheath. One of my first videos demonstrated a template like this I made for a, a heli knife that I had, a bushcraft knife. And quite simply, this is the template I started with. Now I have a laser engraving machine that can cut this out quite easily, but this can easily be done by hand. With those earlier pieces, I was able to fold them up, stack them together. There is an insert inside here that matches the shape of the knife. And this was all one piece all the way folded out that I've folded over, stitched along the back side, creating a loop wide enough for my, my belt. Or I was going to attach a ring on here before I sewed it. But uh, nevertheless, that would be a good spot for paracord. This is also from the one piece. You can see from my original template. Now, we're over here, here and here. I did cut it down a little bit to make it a little more narrow. And then I inlet on either side so it rolls around and grabs the knife a little better. Quite a snug fit. Originally, it did not hold the knife as snugly as I'd wanted to, so I put it in the vise with, um, I put water down inside to keep the leather moist. I put a little, I think it was a file on the back side, and then squeezed it in the vise, and it gave that depression, which gives me all the friction fit that I need to hold it. The snaps come around just in front of the, of the jut out here area. Snaps full or close. There you go. And then created my own little logo with the JA, which is a little trap, and an antler. All three passions that uh, I like to share. 
So without giving it, giving it a review, practical use review, hopefully we'll try it again today. You can subscribe to my channel, give me a like, thumbs up, and pass it on to those other uh, novice and beginner bush crafters that uh, anyone can get started fairly cheaply. Just visit your local store and ingenuity. Thanks. Enjoy the outdoors.